I'm Galen Hare, partner at Insurance Claim HQ, powered by Hare Shannara Trial Attorneys. What happens to the value of my claim if I sell my property during a claim? This comes up a lot. It's not reasonable for you to just put your entire life on hold while you wait for your insurance company to do the right thing, but it will have some repercussions. So at the end of the day, your claim value is made up usually of three pieces. Your actual cash value, your depreciation, your recoverable depreciation, and any penalties or attorney fees, we call those extra contractuals. The part of your claim that's most likely to suffer is the recoverable depreciation. And that's just because you haven't done the work. You sold the house. However, you may actually have additional damages that you're not aware of. For instance, if you sold the house for less than you would have if you'd been able to get it fixed, then you might have, especially in bad faith states like Louisiana, you might have additional damages that you can claim. So the short answer is your claim may go down a little bit in value if you sell the property, but you should go ahead and sell. You shouldn't put your life on hold. And you also should document why it sells for the price it sells at, and then get a good qualified property casualty lawyer to take a look at that and see if you can recover those additional damages from the insurance company. If you have any questions about this or really anything for your claim, give us a call at Insurance Claim HQ. We'd love to help.